My name is Mark Opitz. I've been producing music for over 40 years. In the early days, I started at ABC doing a multitude of jobs from audio engineering to camera work. Then I joined EMI, became a mastering engineer for a while there, and then went into A&R, and then Vander and Young saw fit to hire me as their apprentice music producer. Since then, I've worked with bands like In Excess on albums like Shabu Shabar, Welcome to Wherever You Are, five records with In Excess. So let's just run through it, uh, say one, two more times. When I started working with In Excess, it was very early on in their career, so their musical identity hadn't really formed. They'd done two albums before I'd met them, but for me, it was bringing all their different sounds together to make a unique sound, and that's what I tried to do with Shabu Shabar. It's not absolutely Pitch perfect, but I don't know if we want it to be pitch perfect. It's the emotion. I can I can hear a voice starting to crack. The way I worked with Excess to create the sounds on Shabusha Bar was by looking for the not normal. I'd change things around. Instead of putting the drums where the drums usually go in the studio, I'd put them where the guitar goes. Anything to upset the apple cart a little bit, anything to get people thinking, anything to get people thinking change here and there. Now what we're going to do, I'll, I'll get you to sing acoustically. It's a question of bringing all the different personalities together and mixing that with all the different playing styles and letting it happen. What usually happens is there's a dominant guy in the band that usually says, Oh, we're doing all the songs like this. That doesn't work with me, because when, when I'm working with a band, I want a band to be a band, not a group of separate musicians. The way it came out could have been a little smoother. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. the only bit for me. There's one particular song on that album that goes very unnoticed, a song called Jan's Song. That was a song where Michael learned how to sing in the studio, and he heard his vocal and went, wow, that's me. And I said, that's you. Then he learnt the power of that recording studio. Within the first week of recording Shabu Shabar, I knew we had a hit on our hands. The songs were starting to come home to roost. This warm, fuzzy feeling, and you just know this is going to be big. Maybe it's my ego, I don't know, but that's how I felt. 